maybe get a safety out of this whole thing that puts him in that position. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. So we've reached halftime here on the Thanksgiving night as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Once again, hope everyone out there has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Settling down now to watch Thursday night football. Let's take a look ahead to what's coming here on the rest of this holiday weekend. As far as the early games go, we'll be watching that one in Houston. The Texans in for a fight as they'll square off against the New York Jets. Later in the afternoon, a lot of the country will be watching the game at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, where it'll be the Packers taking on the L.A. Rams. Then, on Sunday night, a big one in the AFC North to wrap up the holiday weekend. The Browns and the Ravens from Baltimore. That's all that needs to be said. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats for Buffalo in that first half. And I can imagine the halftime discussions are about how can we improve the running game. They have not had success so far, and it's reflected on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, for the Saints, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. Both teams going through their final halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football. And to bring you the second half from the Superdome, let's go back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back to quarter number three. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think they get back in balance. It'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Demario Davis, Saints leading tackler last year, in on the stop that time. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get him much at all. No, not at all. And that leaves him with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. Throwing his Allen on third. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. Hill's throw there taken in by Smith. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Coming left is Kamara. Kamara's got the first down and inside. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. Here's Hill. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, for Alvin Kamara, that speed size combo, just about exactly what you want for a running back. And he uses that size, that strength to bust through a would-be tackler there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. 
Trying to power it in with Arma. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Saints add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On second and nine, Allen. And that one incomplete. They tried to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail, as time will expire on this third quarter of play. We are headed to the fourth here on Thanksgiving night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second down, and it's Kamara again. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Hill. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. A give. This is Kamara. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And this is where the mental part of the game comes into play. Defense is out of timeouts. Just hold on to the football. No sense really trying to score. They should be able to run this one out. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Hill going down to a knee, and that should just about wrap this one up. And that knee will do it. So they snap the losing streak. Always a good feeling. Yeah, I don't know if this one right here, when they're taking a knee, is as much exultation as exhalation. Right? They just breathe a sigh of relief. Finally got a win. Needed one desperately. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, uh, Did know. enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys are nails out there. 
So for New Orleans, they move back over 500 now at 6-5. And, and now they get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Bills, we'll see how this affects their playoff standing as they fall to 7-4 now on the year. And they'll try again next week at home against New England.